welcome back to Brunch, A Taste of Tobago. Now, for the persons who are joining us for the first time, we are live on Facebook, the Amplia Network 102, and of course, YouTube. And I would have explained about our wonderful segments um, that we have on the brunch set. And our Iron Bagel, we just spoke with Miss Anne Marie Degasaw. We had our Agro Corner, spoke with Rian Duncan, and you know, just the wonderful people that come through here and have wonderful conversations. It's so amazing. And my next guest is no different. This is our grassroots segment, and we are going to be speaking with none other than Michael Stewart a friend, a brother, an uncle, you know, bro uh, brother from another mister, if you want to say that. And he is one of those persons that I'm always very, very, so very happy to be in his presence. Uh, the conversation is always so informative and uplifting. And Michael joins us today to speak on positive intelligence. So let me take the time to welcome to the brunch set, Mr. Michael Stewart. Good morning. Thank you very much. I appreciate being here and I appreciate the invitation to share with you and your audience. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, the last time you were here, we had such a wonderful conversation. You were supposed to be back uh, before today to speak about men and men issues. I've been waiting for that meeting for so long and it never happened. But nevertheless, we'll get there. So let's talk about positive intelligence. I'm going to let you do what you do and start this conversation rolling. Okay. And I still plan to keep my promise to come and speak about men. I am out of the country at the moment in the lovely country or island of St. Vincent, and so that's why I couldn't be in studio. Uh, but when I come back in, I would more, be more than happy to come and chat about men and men's issues. Right. So, on to your question of positive intelligence. Positive intelligence, as you know, there are a number of intelligences that we talk about. We talk about emotional intelligence, which really talks about how do we manage our emotion and how do we identify and understand other people's emotions. Positive intelligence, on the other hand, is really talking about how the brain serves us in giving us good relationships and good outcomes in our lives and how it sabotages us and prevents that based upon how we exercise the brain to achieve whichever. If you practice it in negative thinking, you get negative outcome. If you practice it in positive thinking, you get positive outcome. And it has been proven by this cutting edge research that people who think positive, all of it, they generally come out with a better quality life, even when they're in relationships where everybody else may be pointing as to what is going wrong. This person tries to identify what is going right. Why is it that the mind clings to negative energy? before going to the positive? Why do we always go to the negative first? That's always been a, a question of mine. Right. So you know, there are two sides of the brain, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. The left hemisphere of the brain is more or less spontaneous, untrained. It, it responds according to, to just VAPs. So if somebody says something that is hurtful to somebody, let's say somebody me in a very loud, hostile, embarrassing way. I don't need the trained side of the brain to respond to them. The left side is going to just respond to them and start shouting back and arguing, etc. That is untrained. It is the limbic brain. It is the spontaneous brain that most of us practice and utilize all the time. The other side of the brain that is called the sage brain, the wisdom brain, is what sits down and says, should I respond to this person? Or should I respond now? Or should I respond in this way? So it processes it. But in order for you to be able to process it adequately and properly, you have to train that side of the brain. And many people, that side of the brain has been untrained. So the animal side of the brain is the what we use, and the trained side of the brain is the one that kicks in. But it kicks in a couple seconds later than the automatic brain. So when your parents told you, count to 10 when you're getting vexed, 
they may not have known what they were saying, but really the brain needs time. That side of the brain needs time to keep in and think positive. So if you just give yourself a little while, sleep on it, if you will, and then wake up, you'll find that you are not as angry in responding to somebody as you would have immediately. But of course, you know, we like the idea of this spontaneous response. And it gives us a result that we don't like because we just damage a relationship and then having to go and say, we are sorry, or we having to mend that relationship because we did not give ourselves that um, that training for the, mm -hmm. the positive side to be able to give us the result. Yeah. That and, you know, I've heard growing up that you must never respond to situations with anger. You must never respond in an, uh, an angry temperament because it goes so out of sync, so wild, so over the top, so very quickly. And then you have to boil right back down. This always yes. happens where you have to boil down and then you're thinking, okay, I should not have done that. But what you're saying is that getting angry and going to the negative energy aspect is more reflexive. It's more like a reflex type of, of, of action within the brain, whereas to be on the positive path, the brain has to be trained. So I'm learning quite a few uh, important facts today. Yes, yes. And you know, the Bible says something, a soft answer turns away wrath. And when you look at that, it makes sense because you help to direct the energy in the discussion. If if I shout, the next person is going to shout a bit higher than I do. And when I, they shout louder, I am going to try to surpass them. So we end up with a shouting match. But if I keep quiet and I respond very meaningfully and consciously quiet, I'm not ignoring the person. What some people do is use passive aggression where they ignore mm -hmm. the person. I didn't, but not saying nothing and so on gives also a negative um impression so you're listening to the person you're watching the person and you're hearing them you're nodding etc but your response is always quiet that person is unable to continue to climb the mountains of anger if you are not going to climb with them they need your cooperation on top of there to get a, a good argument in so if you just quiet yourself they will eventually come back down and so that principle also is a, um, a biblical principle and is also a principle that uh, positive intelligence advocate for. Um, control the level of the discussion that is going on so that you don't get into the fight and fracas. And you know, positive thinking, it sounds so simple when you say it, but when you put it into practice, it's a very, very powerful thing. I've had some experiences where you have two sides of the spectrum. You have a very humble, very quiet on one side, and you have very loud, aggressive, and irate on the other side. And of course, the irate and loud comes in, guns are blazing, and he is all the way at the top of his, of his lungs and, you know, wanting to in, in, insert violence and, you know, all that kind of thing into the conversation. And calm and connected is over here. And he's monotone. His, his tone is like a monotone type of vibration. And very slowly, outright and aggressive starts quieting down. It's like a balloon that you're outing and the, 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 the air is coming out. And then afterwards, both walk away with some form of, of, of resolution to what the issue was at the beginning. So, you know, I really, really pay attention to what you're saying because it's something that I have seen so many times where you have two sides of the spectrum and it's usually like um, a really large um, comparison so one is really, really quiet, really, really reserved. And the other is the direct opposite of that. And then mm. the quiet gains the power because it takes more training, as you're saying, 
to keep that frame of mind. Whereas aggressive and loud is doing just that. But because quiet is here and reserved and, and listening and speaking very quietly, uh, aggressive comes down and slowly diffuses. Why is it so important to instill positive thinking in our daily lives? Why is it so important? Well, because somebody who does not think positive clearly is going through a number of stress themselves. Because the, the reason why, and there's the assessment that we do in positive intelligence that helps us to be able to detect what are the, what we call saboteurs that cause us to think and behave the way we do. The judge is the negative primer that first pushes us to think negative, but it is supported by nine co-conspirators, we call them, co-conspirators to think negative. So, for example, if my saboteur is a controller, a controller is a person who wants to always be in control of situations, people, and they, what they say goes. So we have bosses like that, we have spouses like that, we have children like that, etc. But that saboteur is trigger the saboteur of the person that they are dealing with. So let's say the Call Crime Stoppers anonymously. 800 8477. Report possible border crime. Mamai Latai Home Services. We specialize in cleaning of carpets and rugs, mattresses, living room and dining room sets, vehicle detailing, cleaning and sanitizing of homes and commercial spaces. We also do landscaping and tree cutting, pressure and power washing, floor care, fumigating and air purifying. You can also call us for professional painting services, babysitting and adult sitting. Call us now. 333. 4430 at Mamai Lakai Home Services. We take cleaning to another level. trained staff are ready to deliver the top class services in facial massages, waxing, nail enhancement and body treatment. We are ideally located at Cuckoo Avenue, Susalans, Tobago. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, TripAdvisor, or you can call us on 730-0149, Exhale Spa by Haley. Relax, renew and rejuvenate. MI4 Security Services Company is the most advanced security service in Tobago. 
Ask about our cash and transit service. It's safe, risk-free, reliable, and timely. We provide safe banking delivery for all business types and sizes with highly trained staff, 24-7 monitoring, coordinated emergency response, and a well-maintained fleet of armored vehicles. Contact us at 660-7723 or visit our website at www.mi4securitytt.com to sign up today. JB's Holiday Resorts has one, two, and three bedroom fully self contained apartments located at the heart of Crown Point. Minutes walk to the popular beaches, restaurants, bars, and the airport. Enjoy our amazing amenities such as fully equipped apartments, complete with Wi Fi, AC, TV, and a pool, and a minimat on the compound. Call 639 8292 or 8929. Jimmy's Holiday Resorts is your family. Family's home, away from home. This Christmas we celebrate it. Cause be mobile, they come in with So brace yourself for plenty prices. Cause this season will be the nice. Day. It's the most deals and the most vibes and the most cars and the most price. The most giveaways, the most parang. Have a Christmas season with be mobile. I want a Christmas season with be mobile. Top up, buy a plan, sign up, or pay your bills. Enjoy the best Trinbago Christmas. Be mobile. Life is on. Rest Assured helped me to cope with the unexpected. Provides financial help for final expenses. Rest Assured, the affordable financial comfort plan. Tattle Life, guaranteed protection. Full disclosure with the executive every Thursday at 8 p.m. only on Tobago Updates. Real questions and honest conversations with the sole aim of keeping you fully in the know. Full disclosure with the executive every Thursday at 8 p.m. only on Tobago Updates. Tobago Glass Supplies has been a leading name for over 37 years in the glass and aluminum market in Tobago. We provide an extensive range of high quality innovative aluminum and glass products for commercial and residential use. Competitive prices with superior and professional services by committed employees who are guided by rigid quality standards. Tobago Glass Supplies specializes in the manufacture and installation of glass and aluminum products products that are essential to today's homeowners and the business environment. We are engaged in marketing, sales and installation of a variety of products. These ranges from windows and doors to necessities such as mirrors for homes and vehicles, designed and manufactured in-house or imported. Now get whatever you need, whatever you need anywhere in Tobago with Tapago. Your meals, medication, groceries, and shopping all delivered directly to you. No more hassle, no more stress. Get the Tapago app today on Google Play or Apple App Store. That's T-A-P-P-O-G-O and let us deliver to you. Check our website at www.tapogo.app or call the experts at 494-T-O-G-O and 484-4746. Tapago, relax, we will get it to you. Tapago's at your service. You can now get whatever you need whenever you need it anywhere in Tobago with Tapago. Your meals, medication, groceries, and shopping all delivered directly to you. No more hassle, no more stress. Get the Tapago app today on Google Play or Apple App Store. That's T-A-P-P-O-G-O and let us deliver to you. Check our website at www.tapogo.app or call the experts at 494-T-O-G-O and 484-4746. Tapago, relax, we will get it to you. Tapago's at your service.
a wonderful conversation with Mr. Michael Stewart. I want to thank you so much, guys, for staying with us. You know, we were talking about positive thinking, the importance of positive energy, and the importance of letting positivity in. So I just want to re-welcome Mr. Michael Stewart uh, to speak with me on uh, positive thinking. And, you know, you were going to speak about the saboteurs, and you started with the function of the controller, and I believe that's where, you know, we got disconnected. So we're back now. So let's have this conversation. Right. So we do an assessment, and this assessment helps us to know which one of the saboteurs, there are nine saboteurs that would be actively working for us to get a negative outcome in our lives, in our relationship, in our, our workplace, etc. And one of them is a controller. And there are some people who always want to be in charge. You always want to, you'll have a parent who always giving instructions. You'll have um, a child who always wants things his or her way. You always have that sort of thing. You have a boss who always says, if I say, do it or else, find somewhere else to work, etc." They are not really into connecting. So as a controller, you may be married or in a relationship, business-wise or otherwise, with somebody who might be a victim. This victim, would usually resent being controlled by a controller, but always would feel a sense of being less than and being victimized and, and so on. And that relationship does not seem to work because the more the controller tries to control the victim, the more the victim feels as a failure. And that, that connection and relationship never comes to anything that is productive. Whereas if the controller backs down off of controlling and says, listen, let me listen more. Let me empathize more. Let me try and connect more with this person and try to understand it from them. Then the victimhood of this other person is not triggered for them to take it. A sage part may come to the fore. Appreciation. Sage is anything that is positive. Appreciation, gratitude, etc. You now pull from this person because you've come out of your controller moves. And if we understand and we take the, the program, in fact, we have a program that's going to start on the 16th of December, that we, it's a free introductory session that we inviting people to come on, hear what it's all about, and decide whether it is something that you want, whether it is a relationship, whether it is your workplace, whether it is how you get along with your family, whether you could get some improvement there. We are sure you are going to get some improvement as long as you um, follow along the directions that are going to be given in it. You know, one of the things that I was, I, I would have to say I was forced to get into, and this was on the part of the pandemic and having to be in your space for very long periods of time and having to really delve into yourself as a human being. And so positive thinking is something that I had to learn. I had to train. I mean, I'm still a work in progress, but I had to train myself in certain areas where positive thinking was concerned. So I know there are so many benefits you know so many changes take place you know, your path is is clearer somehow because of the positivity in your thinking and i'm looking at the the not just the positives but i'm looking at how we connect as human beings moving forward because like I say all the time, we are losing that human aspect of things. And the gap seems to be getting wider and wider between our young people and our pioneers. And this is such a cause for concern because this gap is causing so much chaos, so much confusion. We're not understanding one another. And this is why I feel that this workshop is, is so important. It's so relevant to what's going on in society today. And, you know, I was looking at just the, the first part of, of the flyer. Have you heard of positive intelligence? And that just spoke to me. That just 
spoke so much volumes because you're thinking, okay, what am I going to be hearing about? Should I, you know, enroll? Should I register? What am I going to be hearing about? Because cutting edge, well-researched program to improve performance results in all areas of your life. And I stress on all, all, mm -hmm. all, because everything yeah. has to connect. Everything has to have some sort of, of, you know, twining, mingling, you know, in a positive way. And would you believe that positive thinking is something that so many of us are still not practicing today? We say the negatives first, we think the negatives first. And what is the, is the conversation changing towards the way we think? In your, in your expertise, Mr. Stewart, is it changing? Well, just a cursory look at Facebook. When somebody posts something, there's no thought process that may go into the people who are responding, to the majority of people who are responding. They just use the cue. If that person just mentioned something about the police or the government or somebody that they're having an, a, a, a bad day with, the rest of people just take, take on board. They do not process it and ask, is there another side to this story? But that takes a certain kind of thinking that would do that. And the fewer people, there are fewer people who will ask the people to say, listen, they, we don't have the whole story. Um, and that comes from the trained brain. But you spoke about even when you were in COVID, having to deal with people, all of us went through that, having to deal with people and having to be stuck in that space. And if, if I give you, I, I could give you three ways how to be able to deal with that, whether we, we have the time or not is going to be another matter. Um, and probably this is why we should encourage people, I want to encourage people to log on for that free introductory program on the 16th. Um, and if they're interested, they can just give me a WhatsApp call at at like 868-480-0080. Um, or just go to my Facebook, uh, my website. My website is michaelatstuart.com. michaelatstuart.com and you can just um, register online there on the, face, on the opening page. All right, but um, I, I just want, want to help you to understand how all phases of our lives, there are three things. Number one, everything um, that we go through in life and any situation that we meet, there is some value in it, regardless how bad it is. And the person who challenges us, that person who the boss or the spouse and so on, or the child, challenges us to bring out a particular strength in us. It's called everything that we go through has either an opportunity and a gift. So you look at it from that positive thing. Is this person my gym instructor so that I could become more patient? Because this person taxes my patience. So the, the good thing is I can use this person as my gym instructor to get the patience. This person is very critical. I can use them as my gym instructor to find more positive things to give to this person than negative. Right? So that's what. Two, we have the three to one principle. The three to one principle or ratio says this. For every negative thing you think, go to something positive. Every negative you think, go to something positive. Three times, say three positive things to every one negative that you see. If to your spouse and to your friend, you say three positive whenever you say one, then it is like a bank account. If you withdraw three times as much as you deposit, you will always be in luck. If you deposit three times as more into your account, you will always have. And when in relationships, we deposit three times as much goodwill, good thoughts, compliments, to that spouse, to that child, to that employee, to that boss, then you actually say negative. But you see, we are so primed to say the negative. And then, so that is one. One is recognize that the person is your gym instructor. You could get some strength off of them. Number two is also use the three to one principle. But number three, always use the 10% ratio, the 10% principle also, which says, 
in everybody, regardless how mean they are, regardless of how much they anger us, there's at least 10% good in what they do and what they say. In the person is at least 10%. So let's not focus on the 90% that we don't like about them. Find that 10%. That's what positive intelligence says. Always try and find that positive thing. And they, there's a Bible verse that says, whatever is good and lovely and a virtue, think on these things. Think of positive things. And as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And you said it so well, because I take from that so many messages. I take from that so many lessons. And so in every negative, there is always some small piece of positivity to take away from it. And it took me such a very long time to even grasp this concept because you're saying it now and i can relate i can agree with you but it took me just as so many other people you know it took a long time to grasp that concept because you were so busy in your feelings you're feeling angry about what somebody did or said you're sad you're disappointed because you put so much of you into this and you did not get what you put in. You expected this type of validation from this person and you did not get it. And you know, we, 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 we kind of, you know, wallow and we murmur on what is wrong. And seldom times do we take the positive because there is always some piece of positivity it could be very small very minute but there's always a piece of positivity and it's only with training as you said educating yourself as you said that you are able to pick away at the negatives and get into that frequency of positivity mm -hmm. and therein you begin to grow you begin to evolve and your choices are different you take more pride in in self-care and 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 you know your family life and all these things that are brought about when you are getting into that positive mindset and this is something that mm. we, I, I'm so happy. I'm always happy when you come on because there is always that information. There's always that sharing that takes place. And I'm always, always so happy when Michael Stewart is on uh, French and speaking with me. But with regards to positive thinking, you know, I know you mentioned, you know, the triggers and every type of of person every type of energy every type of personality that encompasses the space and you meet so many different people so many different backgrounds uh races religions orientations uh way of life family that family environment that dynamic alone speaks to so much as a person as he or she develops because when you come from and so many families are like this when you come from that chaos and that turmoil and that violence and this one not talking to this one and all of those dynamics some of it flows over to you and as you develop then you're going to have your own challenges because this is unfortunately what you have been, been taught. How do we get into our families? Because this is where my concern lies. The, the family is the cradle of, of civilization. How do we get this conversation into our families? Right. Positive thinking. So one of the things about PQ is that it is so well researched. It was over 500,000 people that this research, the sample size of persons who it was tested on, and their 
uh, over 50 countries that they did this in. So this is a well, so you have all sorts of ethnic groups and family background, etc. Mm -hmm. So this is quite appropriate for it. So how do we get it into the families? Well, first of all, one of the things that we need to to appreciate is how we respond to the families because we can't get the families to make the turn. It is a lot has to do with us. The, whether we are going to react to how our families behave or whether we will respond. Now, the mirror neurons of the brain means that I will mimic a behavior one way or the other. This is why I said if I shout, the person's mirror neurons will mirror that and they will start to shout. If I don't shout, they will mirror that. So if I take into the family, I am trained as it. So whenever you have a husband and wife, and one say, my husband isn't coming to the council, or my wife isn't going to come, so therefore I'm not going to come. We say, no, you come still, because we can help you to know how to respond to your husband that will help control the interaction. If I yawn, sooner or later you are going to yawn, because your mirror neurons will, will pick up. So here is what we be saying. In, in training yourself and helping you, you to have a certain control, there are two things. You can either react or you can respond. Reactors are people who make a lot of noise, use a lot of energy, work up themselves, but nothing changes. So many times in the family, people quarrel and argue and curse. Is there any change taking place? No, things are actually getting worse because we are disconnecting more and more, but we continue to do that for years. So when you have an accident on the highway and people come around to see what has happened and who's injured and whether it's family of mine, all those people doing with all of that energy and screaming and shouting, they are reacting. They use that energy, but it does not change the circumstance of the person who's on the ground. When the fire service is heard in the distance and the police heard in the distance and the ambulance heard in the distance, they are always called first responders, not first reactors. Why? Because they are coming with one specific purpose, to change the dynamics of what is happening at that accident scene. Everybody else are reactors. So I have to ask myself, you have to ask yourself, am I going to react to this person in my family? Or will I respond? Change the situation and the dynamics by who I am. Because when the policeman comes, he's coming with the very essence of his training. When the ambulance attendant comes, they are coming with the very essence of their training. And they are using that training to improve the situation. When the people who came to watch the accident, they are coming with the very essence of an untrained brain to utilize energy, and, and they, they would now mirror everybody else inside of that crowd. This is why it's easy to generate an action in a crowd, because everybody else is just re reacting to somebody else, right? So in the family, you train yourself in this positive intelligence. This is why we are asking people to sign up for the training. You train yourself to respond to change circumstances. You'll see other people in their family, their mirror neurons is going to start picking up on that. Your children are going to start thinking positive. They're not going to be starting to find a negative reason for why this is happening. They're going to always come up with a positive because they are learning it as they see you executed. And that's why it is important for us to be able to have it in the families as we go along. You know, one of the things I always wonder, because this has been a buzz from ever since I could remember, communication, mm -hmm. basic and you communication, read, you read that on the program and many lack times, thereof. Yes, yes, yes. Now, how does this, 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 this weighs heavily on so many things when that communication is just not where it needs to be and i think this uh positive thinking positive intelligence is no different how does lack of communication weigh in on the negativity because that is mostly what you get when that communication is not where it needs to be how do we delve in or even begin to assess this 
Okay. So let's say that my boss trying to talk to me or my, my wife, your husband, your boyfriend, whatever it is trying to talk to you. All negative thoughts are going to put a, a meaning to what they are trying to tell me. Mm -hmm. So we are going to put an emotive purpose in what they said. If the boss calls you in, you ask yourself, I wonder what they want me for. I wonder what they do wrong now. We are not going to say, I, I'm probably being called in for commendation. We are going to find a negative reason why we are being called. When we're talking to our spouse, and the spouse says a certain thing, we are going to come up with a negative. And that affects negatively the communication. If we now remove the judgment from it, pay attention to what the person is trying to share. Not only the words, but really what they actually are trying to say. So my wife may be shouting, my wife may be angry or something. I could either take the words that she's saying, but she say, I'm fed up, I'm tired, I don't want this anymore. And I could use the words. Or I could listen to what is not being said and read what she actually means. It means that I am frustrated, I've been trying something in this family i've been and it is not working so you try to find what is the basis of it what is it that she's really trying to express her frustration on and bypass the words in communication only seven percent of the word is communication the rest is body language tonality um the way how we posture ourselves etc all of that what carries the communication only seven percent is words but yet we focus so much on the words. The person said this, and the person hurt me when they said this and so on. That was just 7%. When the person said, I am, I hate you, many times the person say that, they are saying it out of their emotion and frustration. Try yes. to get to that source. Try to get to that source. And then you will recognize this is what the person is actually saying. You see? Uh, and that helps in, in de developing the communication by us looking beyond the ordinary. Many people, we, we usually express ourselves emotionally, to, but we are very low on the words that we can be able to see what that expression is. So read emotion and try to just get it verified from the person. Are you saying that you would like me to help out more in the home? Do you, do you think that I, I am... I need to do some more. In what area would you like me to help out more? And then we can now move the conversation towards solution rather than reacting to the fact that they made a complaint. Oh, they're complaining, so that means I ain't doing nothing in the house. That is the negative side. Or it may be that they are calling for more help. And let me look and see where else I could now assist the person to take the load off of them. Got that? And you, yes, and uh, you shed some light, some light on just what I wanted the light to be shed on. So I'm so thankful. And um, we want to thank you so much for being a part of brunch, Mr. Michael Stewart, and having this discussion with me because I felt like we needed to really delve in and really talk about positive intelligence, positive thinking roles and functions the changes that would come when this is implied and implemented and we just want to thank you so much for being with us uh just a reminder uh on your workshop just give us the date and uh time and information on yes. your events before we wrap really quickly this workshop is a free workshop that will introduce you to the workshop that will come after. But the free workshop, everybody is entitled to register. It is on the 16th of December. It's 7.30 p.m. So that even if you uh, might be a Sabbath keeper, you can still log on. Uh, we're asking people in churches, organizations, families to log on. Everybody could gain. And you just go to my website, um, michaelatstuart.com www.michaelatestuart.com and you will see the, the course outline at the front page. Click on it and register and we're going to help you and we're going to change this world for the better. We thank you so much for being a part of Brunch today. Uh, we wish you peace, love and light and blessings in what you endeavor to do. So thank you so much again for joining us. Guys, we are wrapping. Thank you so much for 
being a part of brunch today thank you so much for inviting me into your homes but before i leave you our trivia question for today located in the heart of scarborough this cinema was the first for Tobago was what was its name and the answer ladies and gentlemen is the Rex Cinema yes 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 the Rex Cinema I remember going there with my sister we went to see the Lion King so could you imagine how far back that would have been so the movie uh the Swiss Robinson family was shown on the 21st of December 1960 so this was over 62 years ago and you know the first in Scarborough this is a, a, a this was a landmark this was like a social pub it was every any and everyone was going to Rex cinema and depending on where you sat you know you would get heckled from other members who were sitting you know in the balcony and and all these kinds of things and it was really something to be a part of um according to 10 cinema then operator clifford cook 90 every show was sold out and of course that is the corner where you now have uh kfc guys for our kfc lovers in scarborough that was the area where the rec cinema was located so wow history in the making we want to thank you guys for being a part of brunch we want to thank you for staying with us and as we go we wish you blessings we wish you peace love and light and also we wish you success in whatever you endeavor to do see you next time on brunch a taste of tobago bye bye <music>